and girls. Today, out the window, it is such a rainy day, but I hope you are having a warm and sunny day inside. And we are going to start with our song. Good morning, hello to Colson. Good morning, hello to Lucas. Good morning, hello to Annabelle. I hope you're having a real good day. Good morning, hello to Sawyer. Good morning, hello to Maddie. Good morning, hello to Jesse. I hope you're having a real good day. Good morning, hello to Caspian. Good morning, hello to Noah. Good morning, hello to Zane. I hope you're having a real good day. Good morning, hello to Elijah. I hope you're having a real good day. So today I have some friends with me to read to you today. Do you know what I brought? There's two of them. It's a two-headed dragon. Oh my goodness. Hello. Hello. Hi guys. They are so silly, right? Do you know what dragons love to eat? What they absolutely positively love to eat? I know. They both love to eat tacos. Did you know that? Dragons love to eat tacos. And I have a book to read to you today that's called Dragons Love Tacos. It is so silly. Do you like tacos? They're so yummy. Hey kids. Did you know the dragons love tacos? They love beef tacos and chicken tacos. They love really big gigantic tacos and tiny little baby tacos as well. Why do dragons love tacos? Maybe it's the smell from the sizzling pan. Maybe it's the crunch from the crispy tortillas. Maybe it's a secret. Either way, if you want to make friends with dragons, tacos are key. Hey dragon, why do you guys love tacos so much? But wait, as much as dragons love tacos, they do not like spicy salsa. They don't like spicy green salsa or red salsa, spicy chunky salsa or spicy smooth salsa. If the salsa is spicy, dragons do not like it. Why don't dragons like spicy salsa? Well, just one drop of hot sauce makes a dragon's ear smoke. Just one single speck of hot pepper makes a dragon snort sparks. Spicy salsa gives dragons the tummy troubles. And when dragons get the tummy troubles, oh boy. If you want to make tacos for dragons, keep the toppings mild. Tomatoes, lettuce, cheese, these are all good toppings for tacos. Hey dragon, how do you feel about spicy taco toppings? How does he feel? Oh my goodness. Dragons love parties. They love costume parties and pool parties, big gigantic parties with accordions, and tiny little parties with charades. Why do dragons love parties? Maybe it's the conversation. Maybe it's the dancing. Maybe it's the laughter. The only thing dragons love more than parties or tacos is taco parties. Taco parties are parties with lots of tacos. If you want to have some dragons over for a taco party, you'll need buckets of tacos, pant loads of tacos. The best way to judge is to get a boat and fill the boat with tacos. That's just about how many tacos dragons need for a taco party. After all, dragons love tacos. Hey dragon, are you excited for the big taco party? Just remember, dragons do not like spicy salsa. Before you host your taco party with dragons, get rid of all the spicy salsa. In fact, bury the spicy salsa in the backyard so the dragons can't find it. Look at him hiding the salsa. These dragons love your taco party. They love the music. They love the decorations. They especially love the tacos. Congratulations! 
It's a good thing you got rid of all that spicy. Wait a second. What are those little green things in the salsa? You didn't read the fine print. Totally mild salsa. Now with spicy jalapeno peppers. <gasps> Dragons, listen to me. Do not eat those tacos. Those little green specks in the salsa, those are jalapeno peppers. They are super spicy. I know you love tacos, dragons, but you are not going to love those tacos. Do not let those dragons eat those tacos! Crunch, crunch, crunch. Uh-oh. Too late. <gasps> what happened? This house is all gone. But... Why would dragons help you rebuild your house? Maybe they're good Samaritans. Maybe they felt bad for wrecking it. Maybe they're just in it for the taco breaks. After all, dragons love tacos. The end. So, I hope you like that book. And I'm gonna show you two different activities that you can do with your bag today. So, today's you're going to be using bag number two and inside there you're going to have a couple of pieces of paper that have lots of different shapes that are in there and you're probably going to want to get a grown-up to help you punch out the shapes because it's just a little bit tricky so i went ahead and punched out shapes here and there's two different things you can do one of those things is if you have a puppet or even just a stuffed animal at home, you can practice feeding some of the different shapes to your puppet. So you could play a little game and pretend that you have a picky puppet at home that likes just certain shapes. So maybe what shape would this dragon like today? Let's see. You would like a star? Okay. So I have a star for you, and he would like to eat the star. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, oh, he loved it. Do you want another shape? Oh, what, a circle? Here. Oh no, that isn't a circle, is it? That's a rectangle. Hmm, oh, do you want this? Okay, here you go. Oh, <laughs> so one thing you can do that's really fun is practice feeding different shapes to your puppet or just any, any animal. And the other fun thing that you can do is make a meal for one of your stuffed animals. So take one of your animals and try to think about what that animal would like to eat. So I could imagine I'm gonna make this little kitty I heard is really really hungry. So what you can do is just make any kind of a wonderful, delicious meal. And you might want to use your crayons too. But I'm going to arrange a meal for this little cat using my shapes, kind of making like a collage, which is just means I'm going to put different shapes all over my paper and think about what those shapes might be. So I might imagine that this blue circle is a little dish of water for the kitty to drink. And I might imagine that this yellow rectangle could be a great big piece of cheese. I could imagine that this blue square is, hmm, what could it be? Maybe a blueberry grilled cheese sandwich? I don't know. Or some delicious corn on the cob. And then it'd be fun to add some crayons too and make a delicious meal for your animal. So I hope you have fun and I will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.